Okay, hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. You join me in the middle of a charity shop, which is like the English equivalent of a thrift store, and I found something that I literally can't believe. Like, I cannot believe this is here. <laughs> what do we have here? What do we have here? A sealed Arctic Wolverine for £3.50. That's about $5, $6. A UNSC Rocket Warthog, three pound, that's about five dollars. That is a jackpot. Oh baby, oh, oh, oh yeah baby. So let me tell you, you might be thinking to yourself, well it's only a couple of Arctic sets, Simon, what's the big deal? It's, it's a big deal. When I was growing up in England, you know, I found these in England, I'm, I'm in the UK right now, hence the big Union Jack on the bag. Since I you know, I was a child and I got into Halo Mega Blocks when it first came out in 2009. I searched charity shops high and low like every single week. I thought it was dang near impossible to find Halo Mega Blocks in a charity shop. I've searched high and low for many years and then <laughs> I just walk into one today and I, I mean the main question is are they sealed? Because they could just be uh, deconstructed, put back in the box. That's what I'm, I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping they're sealed. If they're sealed, what a jackpot! I mean, if they're not sealed, what a jackpot. But I would especially like it if they were sealed. And yeah, to finally find sealed, I mean, essentially sealed, they look sealed, Halo Mega Blocks in a charity shop. I found some in a, a kind of a charity shop back in Hong Kong. And now, wow, full circle, guys, full circle. So I'm gonna get into the house, bust this bag open, and see if they're sealed, which is the big, the big if. I'm really hoping they're sealed. All right then, everybody. How are we gonna find out what's inside this box? Or two boxes, I guess. Oh my goodness. I still, I'm still in complete shock. I, I can't believe that after like being a Halo Mega Constructs or Mega Blocks fan since 2009, I've never found sealed Halo Mega Blocks in a store. Well, in a charity shop. The UK, I go on about this all the time. The UK used to be the absolute like hub of collecting Halo Mega in the world. I mean, it was like the UK, Mexico, and uh, America, but I would argue that the UK was better than America in a lot of ways, particularly how many stores stocked it. The Rocket Hog, man, ay ay ay. This is from 2010, yeah, it was the second year. I imagine it was probably the fall line of 2010, so I think it was probably the fourth wave. I think the Gremlin and the Wraith were both fall 20, na 2009, I was gonna say 29. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. The real question is though, for both of these, are they sealed in the boxes? Or were they taken apart and put in the boxes? I, I'm looking at the quality of the box. Like that's near perfect quality. Oh, look at that peeled straight off. This is from TK Maxx, uh, TJ Maxx in America. We call it TK Maxx here. It's the same store. Now nah, that sticker is ancient, so that's not gonna come off very well. Chef's kiss for this one. Look at that bad boy. Look at that absolute bad boy. The hunter is like, set stage here. I mean, they must have been so proud of that Hunter mold. And we also have Jerome. Keep in mind when Halo first came out, the very first line in 2009 was called Halo Wars. Then they ditched Halo Wars, just called it Halo. Then Halo Mega Blocks, then Halo Mega Constructs, and now Halo Mega. It's been a journey. So these are taped shut, sellotaped shut. You know, that could tell me that they're resealed, but actually a lot of the original packaging for Mega, it was only held together by, I don't know if you can see in there. You probably can't see, but just like little sticky tabs. So I'm still hopeful that inside this warthog, inside this rocket hog, or inside the box, let's specify. And then the big question for that is, do I keep them sealed or not? I would like to think if someone's kept them sealed all these years, then they may have gone to Bloxfest considering Bloxfest was ran in Warrington for three years running. All right, guys, moment of truth. Are they gonna be in 100% mint condition? You'll see before I do. <laughs> I don't think, no, no, look at that, look at that. The, uh, the uh, what, what would you call it? The um, temporary bricks are put together. So that tells me no. Ah, That's okay. Wait, hold on. What is that? Is that a blind bag? What? That's a, that's a blind bag instruction manual. Oh, the plot thickens. Oh, the plot thickens. Oh, the, the plot does indeed thicken. Why is that in there? Why is there a short sword instruction manual in the Rocket Hot box? 
Oh, oh, the plot thickens. Why is there a Battlescape instruction manual? What have you done, Karen? Gosh. <sighs> What did Karen do? These are stickers for the chopper. You can see from those little bits, they're on the fins of the chopper. Yeah, so we got the instruction manual from a Battlescape. Unfortunately, neither of these boxes is big enough for a Battlescape to go in. And then we've got the instruction manual for a short sword. Why? Why? Why do you do this to me? It makes the video way more exciting, to be fair. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Oh my god, I mean, I mean, like, I'm so excited at this point. Anything could be in here. Why? What? Are these gonna be inside? Also, an empty sticker sheet. Maybe it was the short sword sticker sheet. All right, oh, 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 I don't want to lose pieces here. Okay, 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 well. There is, there is, uh, okay. There's an instruction manual for that, uh, oh, look at that elite, that looks great. That, uh, that, that looks really good. Uh, that's the instruction manual for one of the combat uh, units, Co Covenant weapon pack. That's definitely a rocket hog antenna. This is, this has turned out to be way more exciting than I thought it would be. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Did you store all your instruction manuals in there? Also, shout out, it's the Blocks Brigade. Hell yeah, the, the OG Blocks Brigade. I love that thing so much. Memories. Is there even gonna be a set in... You know, I don't even know if there's a set in here. I think it's just instruction manuals. All right, there's the uh, CQB armory pack. Three more sheets of stickers. Oh man. What's gonna be in there? No, there's, there's not much in here. There's not much in here. There are so many sticker sheets. All right. Oh, no, no. Oh. Oh, that's brutal. This is like, it's it's garbage. It's it's, it's, garbage, it's garbage, man. man. What? What? Oh, man. That, it's garbage. It's, it, it, it's garbage. No, no figure in that. There's no figure. All right, guys, this is what's inside our mega box. There's nothing. There's nothing in this box. Oh my gosh. There's nothing. There's nothing. It's 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 garbage. I've been absolutely duped. I've been, I've been bamboozled. They took me to town. You know what I bet these are? Cause there's so many yellow bricks. I bet this is just his spare. I got sold nothing. Luckily for me, there is a chance for redemption. I don't know if it's very high at this point because this is complete and utter garbage. More than anything, I would love if the weapon packs were in this. All right guys, you really need to, uh, you really need to pray for me on this one. Okay. Wolverine, I, I was so hyped to get an Arctic Wolverine, man. I was so hyped. This is gonna be a big F if, uh, if this is not a Wolverine. My gut tells me it's not. My gut tells me that this is just gonna be a lo another load of garbage. But at the same time, uh, my my uh, dopamine hits are certainly kicking in because that was completely random. That's promising. That that feels like sealed bags. That's really promising. Okay. It's a Wolverine instruction manual. It's a Wolverine instruction manual. Come on, baby. Is it gonna be a wolf? Show me, show me wol Wolverine. Well, that's just black bricks. Oh, it's a Wolverine. Oh, oh, and it's sealed. It's, yeah, it's factory sealed. White bricks. Pretty safe to say that is a 100% complete Wolverine. But where's my, where's my rocket hawk? Big, uh, big hit, big miss, I guess. Wow, that's so weird. Great to see a sealed hunter in there. How, just how bizarre. It even had a series three instruction manual, which to be fair, I think I'm actually gonna keep. Love those double grunts. <laughs> complete, like literally complete garbage in one. So much, like literally two empty boxes. And in the other one, complete gold. So obviously $10 for a sealed Wolverine is epic. The sheer confusion behind that rocket hog. Um, and, and it's not like, you know, I've got a lot of rocket hogs. I've got, I've got a few Arctic rocket hogs. So it's not the end of the day, but it's still very bizarre. Yeah, I mean, it's one, it's, it's one more Arctic Wolverine that I thought I would have today. 
So that that makes it all right. And it's the other thing, when you buy from a charity shop, you can't take it back because it's for charity. Let's uh, make sure to like the video and comment down below and subscribe. Let's push this video. Let's make it really successful so I can make it back on the ad revenue. Or you can go and support me on Patreon, uh, <laughs> patreon.com slash motion domain. A big shout out to Chris Palmer, my first hashtag Billy Gang patron, but absolutely massive shout outs to Spartan Dagger and Chunky Chief, you know Chunky Chief. Spartan Dagger and Chunky Chief are my first Arbiter patrons. That means they get really special shout outs in my videos, as well as a preview video that comes out on my Patreon at the beginning of every month. It's just a video where I detail what's going on in my life, uh, largely unedited, but like a really cool sneak peek into all the upcoming projects I have in the month, all the videos that'll be coming out that month, and uh, also ways that you can engage in the comments of that video and suggest what you want to see from the channel. You guys are legends and you really will help this uh, channel grow a lot in the next year and also uh, allow me to continue working on this. You know, having a YouTube channel and making videos, although the internet is a very weird place, I've been learning more and more in my adult life how strange of a place the internet is, uh, which drives me forward, weirdly enough, to produce content that is safe and is a, a safe space for young people. So shout out to Chunky Chief and Dagger Spartan, Spartan Dagger for making that happen. And as always, folks, yes, stay awesome, yes, stay safe out there. And I mean, what, what are we gonna sign off this video with all this junk? <laughs> Wow, guys, paid five dollars for small instruction manuals and some stick of the coals. You, yay, yay! Signing off. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I just kind of got scammed a little bit from a charity shop. <laughs>